Hello, my friends, and welcome back, everyone, to Arc Scorcher. Today we return, and today we got some names to share first and well, first off, but then right after we are done naming some of our animals, we're going to be hopping on the Procoptodon, one of the animals we have to name. We're going to be going out to the dunes, to the deserts, and we're going to be taking care of business. What do I mean by that? We're going to be looking for death worms. We're going to see where we can find them. We're going to try to get our first encounters with them before ultimately bringing our friend the Rock Elemental, who will soon have a name into the equation and then from there having having a little little bit of fun but uh, without further ado we got some names to dish out so let's do it in order the first thing we tamed was the Argentavis, right yeah i think we tamed the Argentavis first if we didn't whoops but thank you to everyone who did comments and everyone who liked on the videos i seriously appreciate it, it lets me pick the names so much easier and uh thank you to those of you who decided to pick the name Dun, 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 dun. That's, that's not the name. The name's actually Griffin, but thank you. Thank you to y'all. So, welcome Griffin to the family. Uh, let's get on over to... Where are you? Where are you? The Procoptodon. So, a st I saw a stupid amount of comments for this name, so I, I can't even begin to, like, put on all of them. But uh, there were so many of you guys that wanted Kangaroo Jack, and I'm not entirely sure, because that seemed like... That name seems very familiar for some reason, but I, I don't know what it is, what it is about. And then finally, we have the Rock Elemental, and uh, pretty much, some of you guys were commenting pretty much a variation of this, but uh, we're going to go ahead and call Dwayne. We're calling a Rock Elemental Dwayne. And now, pretty much that's because it was a Rock Elemental, but uh, then we're just going to go ahead and, uh, what did I say we are going to do? Oh yeah, well, it's a Rock Elemental, but also because... Well, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, haha, <laughs> and a lot of you guys were commenting about that. Anyways, without shenanigans aside, is nighttime coming? I hope nighttime isn't coming. Is nighttime coming? I think nighttime might be coming. All right, we're gonna go ahead, crank some movement points into this guy. Maybe a little bit of nah. He he has plenty of stamina. Keep cranking movement points. Make this guy ridiculously fast. Before we head out, make sure we got some meat on us. We need some food, right? Can't be going out not prepared. Um. Who has a ton of food? The Rock has a ton of food, doesn't he? It's not cooked, but I'm I'm so used to eating raw meat. Like, I'm pretty sure my stomach has actually just, like, accepted the fact that I only intake raw meat because I'm too lazy to cook it. So, stomach, shout out to you for being, you know, being so cool about that. But I'm going to go ahead. We're going to wait out the nighttime, and then we are going to... I'm going to put these on him, just so uh, he's kind of ready there. And other than that... Kangaroo Jack is there. I'm going to hop onto Kangaroo Jack. We're going to start hopping to the desert, but we're going to wait for daytime first. So uh, hold up. Give me a sec. We'll be right back. All right, then, boys. So we're back, and uh, we're going to be playing a very risky game today. All right. So the main part of the game is the fact that we're going. We're trying to encounter a death worm. Look at that hop we just made. That was filthy. This is why I love kangaroos. It's just like we just go so well. So we're going to be hopefully able to avoid the death worm. Once it starts to, like, engage in combat with us. Because uh, I don't think we'd be able to survive that. The good news is we can literally run away from anything we want. So long as we have a little bit of stamina. And the stamina on this thing is insane. Like, the way it regens and stuff is just amazing. I don't think terror birds are too interested with, in us. Which is cool. Like, no one seems to be a huge hater of this guy. So, the dunes, I think, are actually over this way. Or I saw some dunes this way. I remember it's like kind of like the edge of the map pretty much when we were going for a rock elemental tame. At the corner of my eye, I saw some stuff over here. So, we do have to traverse a little bit of land, but it's really not that bad when you have a freaking kangaroo Jack to help you out. So, thank you, Jack. Jack is such a cool dude. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's referencing. It seems so familiar. I don't... Like, it reminds me of Samurai Jack, because I remember watching that show as a kid. But I don't know what Kangaroo Jack is referencing. It has to be reference something, because so many of you guys wanted the name. Uh, we're full on water, so I'm not going to bug that thing. Ha, get it? Not going to bug that thing? It's a, it's a bug. Oh my god, look at how shiny that rock is. It's suspiciously shiny. Anyways... This, my friends, is the dunes. This is where things get risky, and this is also where things get stupidly hot. So hopefully we don't have a heat stroke or nothing, but uh, let's see if we can't find some death worms out here. I already see a millipede over to the left. We're not going to be fighting anything because I don't want to die today. Uh, we got just little, like, little, little pools of bugs. Pretty much, they come in little groups. I'm also going to be looking for some praying mantises. I've never seen a praying mantis yet. Oh, what's that noise? Is that a death worm? 
I don't know. Also, we're bringing bloom quality down a little bit. R dot bloom quality 0.2. There we go. Okay, so we can actually see in the desert now. Let's see what we can find out here, because there's going to be a bunch of stuff for us to look for. There's something over there. I have no clue what that is. We got to make sure to take breaks periodically, too. Oh, I see so. Oh, dude, that noise. I don't like these noises I'm hearing. Look at this. We got the mantises. Are these guys aggressive? Are they going to attack us? Hello, mantises. I come in peace. Oh, no. Oh, they're like kangaroos, except more deadly. Okay, I'm getting out of there. I'm not messing with that. Here, we got some sort of a deposit. Are they still? Ch oh, they're still chasing. We're going to ultimately try to tame some of those after we kill up some death worms with the rock elemental. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, I kind of want to find out, but I'm afraid that th those things are going to catch up here. This is... That's salt. Okay, so this is where we get the salt to make preserving salt. Okay. I Okay, that makes sense. It's harvested. Now, praying mantises seem to be pretty common. I'm not seeing the shifting sands that denote a death worm, though. That's that's really what I'm wa I want. I want to find a death worm. I know I have a death wish for wanting a death worm, but... I really want to find one. Then, yeah, salt deposit just spread out through here. Also, I got to make sure not to, like, get lost. Because there's a good chance that that might happen. Did I ever mark home? I never marked my house. Okay. Well, we're going to keep on going. I don't know how far we can go before we get too far. Those millipedes over there were flying. But, I mean, so far, it's relatively safe. So, the dunes, as you can see, very barren. This is our first experience in them, but... Very barren, not a lot to them, just uh, a lot of open area, small groups of bugs, uh, the, the hinting oversight of death, and uh, just the overall a lot of positivity, you know? Now, I've still yet to see any of those death worms. Like, how far out do we have to go? Far out, dude. Seriously, though, if you ever want to just, like, explore... Oh, invisible wall, hello, what's up, what's up? If you ever just want to explore this area, I definitely, I'd, I'd suggest, okay, also invisible wall. I would definitely suggest getting a kangaroo. It, I would say, from what I'm experiencing right now, kangaroos are just amazing. Especially if you get their movement speed up, because they'll just hop around the entire thing. That's a lot of mantises. No thank you. Jump over the vultures. Get the hell out of there. Yeah. Anyways. So we got some more of them. I, I, I'm, we still haven't found what I'm looking for, though. Which is kind of disappointing. And then here, this is like a new inlet, outlet to the sand dunes. So a lot of canyons actually do lead there. And then, I mean, we could stop by the obelisk, say hello there. See if we actually have anything stored in the obelisk, like, left over. But, uh, seriously, no death worm. Why you do this game? Nah, we'll, we'll definitely find one. If not, I might just wander for a little bit longer. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep hopping around. Just hopping around. Oh, is that an oasis? Yo, dude. Is that an oasis? They have oasises in this game? Kangaroo Jack. Now's not the time to poop. Yeah, look at that. This would be a dope place to build a base, actually. Over in the sand dunes. Like, sure, there's the looming threat of death worms, but... Very cool, very unique. A lot of open space. A lot of aggressive things near you that kind of protect you. And here's a water vein. Speaking of water vein, I'm definitely going to make sure... Let's utilize this, grab a little bit of water, because I'm thirsty. And hop back on Kangaroo Jack and keep going. So yeah, I really don't know. I don't know. I thought I was expecting this to be a bit more action-packed, but if not, we'll just start going towards uh, towards the obelisk. We'll say hello there, like I mentioned, and we'll see if the obelisk is anything cool near it. Is that the obelisk we went to? Oh, oh, we got buildings. Hello. No, I don't think we can go... There, I think there's, yeah, there's an invisible wall. You can tell because those textures are a little bit lower res. There's some sort of a little castle here with, like, a palm tree. Do you guys see this? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, scorpion, what up, dude? Look at that little castle. They got a lot of cool stuff here on the outskirts. Another water vein. You can probably find yourself an oasis if you look here long enough. You know what you apparently can't find? A goddamn death worm. Seriously, I have no clue where they could possibly be. Is there going to be an invisible wall up here? I feel like there might be. No, we're still good. How, where are we on the map? How long have we been exploring for? Oh my god, we're way in the north. Damn. Well, we're going to hit the corner of this map soon. Or the, Yeah, we're going to hit the northwest corner kind of soon. And we've yet to come across anything that might hint towards a death worm. So usually I think what denotes a death worm is... Uh, which you usually see is like the sands shifting, if that makes sense. Like the sands will literally just like shift. And it's horrifying because you like there's not much you can do unless you book it the hell out of there. 
Now, I'm not seeing that, though. Flying millipedes, sure, I'm seeing those. Those are relatively normal at this point, but... I'm not seeing the other stuff. Oh, those are actually titanoboas. Let's jump over them. Haha. -ha. Jump over all the insects. Seriously, they can't catch us. Ow. We can't hurt us, though. Stop pooping, kangaroo jack. God damn it. Alright. Well, this has been a little bit futile. Like, I mean, we saw our first mantises, which was cool. They're really not that rare. We got some Argentavi over here. And I'm just gonna keep looking around. So we hopefully find ourselves a death worm. I'll let you guys know when we get close. Let's uh, jump over the manti. Now they're gonna try to jump after us. Too bad. We're way quicker and way more badass. Actually, no. Mantises are definitely more badass than kangaroos. But we have Kangaroo Jack. He's the most badassest of them all. I don't know. Anyways, I'll let you guys know if we come across anything interesting. If not, I'm just going to continue exploring a little bit and uh, taking tangs from there. Boys, I see something. I see something burrowing. You guys see what I see? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is like this barely just happened, too. I, I don't I don't want it to come out too close to me. I just want it to like pop out. That thing is really close. I'm kind of scared. Ugh. Oh, oh, there's the death worm. Oh my god, there we have it, boys. That's all it's doing. It's just kind of coming out, and then it's going to come back in and try to dig at us. Yeah. I mean, if we can just get it to peek out, it doesn't, like, we could... Oh, if I had some flame arrows, actually. Oh god, I just hit it. Actually, yeah, hold up. This, there's, there's... I, I have an idea. Actually, okay, so I'm going to go back to base. I'm going to get us a crossbow. And I'm going to come back to about here, I'm thinking. I'm going to get us a crossbow. And I'm going to see if we can kill this thing with flames. Because that would actually be pretty damn cool. So, Oh, I just saw a wyvern in the background, too. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, that thing really likes to roll after us, though. Wyvern in the background. This is not a safe place. Look at that wyvern over there. Yeah. What kind of wyvern is that? I don't know. Got to be careful, though. That thing is not giving up. Just like the dossier said, they're extremely territorial. Oh, the, it's, this is the wyvern vein. Oh, that's why. Oh, we found it. We found the wyvern vein. Oh, okay. Well, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to go back to base a little bit here. I'm going to grab what we need. I got what you need. And we're going to come back and uh, hopefully take care of this thing. That'd be, that'd be cool to get to kill it. And I kind of have a strat for doing so. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. And we will uh, return in a bit. All right, and we're back to roughly about where we were before. We got some flame arrows. Actually, I should probably blow these things up. Don't want to get hit by surprise when that thing comes around. We got some flame arrows, and uh, the game plan here is to hopefully kill ourselves our first death worm. That'd be awesome. We're going death worm hunting. We're not just exploring. We changed it to hunting. And then uh, it would also be pretty damn cool to... I saw some sort of a thing here. Was that... Did you guys see what I just saw where that was like a giant thing in the sky? I don't know. Anyways, we do have the giant, giant chasm here. Oh, shit, that's the death worm. Okay, 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 we aggroed it. Okay, it was right there. God damn. And we got wyverns there and stuff. That is where we're going to be getting our eggs from. Our first look at that area. Anyways, in the meantime, I want to lure that thing to kind of a area where I'm not too worried about dying to other things. Uh, so there's the giant mound. It's literally just following like a scorpion right now. I think it de would us. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I just want to bring it out in the open. There's just so much stuff here trying to kill me. It's a struggle. Alright, so what we're going to do here is jump right past it. And then that should have it pop out. And then uh, equip it. Okay, I didn't get equipped. Okay. Well, that's going to be the game plan, right? We just want to aggro it. Like what we do is run right by it. And then because we're so much faster than it is, we jump off. Hit it with the flame arrow. Oh, did we get it in time? I don't know. I actually do not know if we got that in time. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we got it to surface there. It surfaces. We got to reload this time. There we go. Is it reloaded? Okay. What are you doing? Stop eating your rare mush mushrooms, kangaroo jack. What are you doing? All right, all right. And then we're going to... That. Come out to play. There you go. It came out to play. Hit it with the flame arrow. It's on fire. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I don't know if that fire sticks throughout this entire encounter, but I'm hoping that it does. Because that fire is going to be our main method of doing a bunch of damage to this guy. 
Yeah, so it's actually, it's not super hard to do. It can get kind of tedious, but this is a way that you can legitimately kill a death worm without, like, you know, having anything crazy like a rock elemental yet. So I'm making sure that everything's reloaded. Then we're going to go back, re-aggro the thing, right? We just got to go right by it. There you go. Hit it with the flame arrow. It's now on fire. Look at that thing. Look at it. And I... I I don't know how much health these guys have. I do know that flame arrows do a stupid amount of damage if you do if you do anything right with it. There you go. Oh, we're not reloaded. Damn it. I hate when that happens. <laughs> I keep forgetting to reload after we hit the damn thing. Alright, so this time, aggro it. Shoot. Reload. Make sure we time get the reload in. Alright. I don't know if that one hit, but this is going to be the game plan. I'm going to be repeating this for a little while here, and hopefully uh, we'll have our first dead death worm by the end of this. That would be that would be really cool. There you go. We got a hit on him there. Now, I'm not going to try to get greedy, try to get multiple hits in, because that doesn't work. We're not. We're simply not going to have enough time to do that. There's also, I'm having a heat stroke out here, which is kind of bad. So we might want to, you know, hop out of here kind of soon. There we go. I didn't reload that time, so I should reload right now before that thing gets to me. Reload, reload, reload. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully we'll start seeing like some blood on it or something to show that we're actually making progress on the thing. Uh, but I don't know. We're not seeing anything yet. And I don't know if the fire stays when he goes underground. That's the big thing. We might need to jump out of here, to be completely honest, if uh, this whole like... Okay, I don't know how close that thing is. I, I see the ground trembling, though. So it's got to be getting close. There it is. This whole heat stroke thing, not good for us. There you go. We keep hitting it. Uh, we'll see how we'll do. I'm going to go through the rest of my arrows. And it'd be really cool if we get a death worm uh, horn out of this or whatever. Good chance we don't. We didn't reload there. Uh, I could have got it in, but it would have been. I don't know if it would have been worth it. I'll increase his movement speed after this. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's getting really hard to see when it's like this bright out. There we go, right in the face. I mean, you can see the thing on fire. I just don't know if it stays on fire after it goes underground. And also, we might legitimately need to go back home because it is way too bright out. And uh, that's really bad. There we go. Oh, did I hit him? I don't know if I hit him. I don't know if I hit him. Ugh. I could actually reload. I wasn't reloaded, baby. Okay, there we go. Reloaded just in time. This dude's going to serve us back up. I'm just going to repeat this for a while. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright, boys. By the looks of it, it's not even getting bloody or anything. We got a couple arrows left. I don't think our odds are good. We'll leave it live for now. I don't think we're going to be able to take it out, unfortunately. This really sucks. I was looking forward to it, but look at how awesome this thing is. How huge it is. All that stuff. Honestly, like, look at that thing just emerge. Look at it. It's massive and horrifying all those tentacles and stuff it'd be so cool if there was like a mod to tame one someone should come out with that but uh yeah unfortunately it's not looking good for operation kill a death worm we are gonna have to get the rock elemental out here so it's gonna be a little bit of a hike but we should be able to get the job done and then before we head home i want to go over here i want to peek over this ledge i want to see what the hell's over here i got like i want to see how many wyverns are here all that stuff if we can see any nests or whatnot because, uh, look at this place. I see a wyvern over by the mountain. Now, oh god. All the lava there. I, I'm scared to jump with the kangaroo. That's why, like, I'm refusing to try to hop up on here. That's just gonna end poorly. I do not want to jump in this area. Because it could go, if we, if we overestimate, we're dead. We're dead. We go into a pit of dragons. You don't want to go into a pit of dragons, usually. So this is the, uh giant place so many wyverns oh man yeah so uh that's gonna be fun to aggro everything out of there before we ultimately steal an egg because if we steal an egg while they're close uh they're not gonna forget the fact that we stole an egg and that's usually not too good for us but uh other than that that is about going to do it for me for this video we got to check out this area which we found out where the first little nest is which is pretty cool and then I mean, ultimately, we are going... I'm, I'm going to see if I can find a way back home through the mountains this time. Ultimately, we are going to... If we want to kill the death worms and get the manti, we are going to have to do stuff with... Uh, whatchamacall? 
with the what's the other thing the the, 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 the rock elemental we are gonna need the rock elemental speaking of rock elementals I think I just saw a rock elemental on the side of this mountain hold up did you guys see that you guys see that goofiness oh dude, the wyverns here there's multiple wyverns okay this mountain is not safe okay that that's an Argentavis. I was about to be like is that a third wyvern no I already saw two wyverns though we gotta get the hell out of dodge I'm going to make my way back home because uh, I like living. And uh, that's a really cool arch with a car now on top. Anyways, I think I'll be able to find my way home from here. But uh, without further ado, I do believe that that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Oh, God. this Is this a dead end? Is this a dead end of a mountain? Oh, no. Oh, no. It is about going to go ahead. Oh, no. I think I remember this area. This is... Uh is this from the mountain? We... uh, uh Maybe. I don't... Hey, I have no clue where we are. We'll figure it out. This is a gigantic mountain range, but I'm sure there's a way out. We've yet to find a T-Rex on this map. Do T-Rexes exist? I don't know, but anyways, it's going to go ahead and do it for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and uh, hopefully you wish me luck and find my way back home. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye, my friends.